We will be stylizing the basic extension window today in Omniverse, and this is what it'll look like when we are done. This tutorial assumes that you already have Omniverse Kit App template downloaded on your computer, or you already know how to download it. To begin, we will navigate to the window, then extensions, and click the plus button on the top left and click new extension template project. Choose the file location for your extension. I'm going to name mine GUI Tutorial Styles and then click OK. As your extension is created, VS Code should load in with your extension folder and files. And on the left, Omniverse will also open its blank extension window right here. We can navigate into the extension folder and find extension.py. I like to get rid of this unnecessary code up top and the comments since we won't be needing them. We can now go back to our files and create a new file called styles.py in the extension folder. This is where we will be holding our styles. We can start with our imports, omni.ui, and from omni.ui, import color. We can create our class called stylesheet. This is where our styles will be held. We can begin by defining a background color. I'm going to do a dark blue. I need to grab the hex code for this and type in the hex code. I just got it from an online color resource. I used colors00.com. Let's now define our window and we can further customize the window with border radius. So back in our extension.py, we can import our style class and define it as style. We can now set our window with the style we created. And as you can see, the window now changes to our custom window. The color and border radius changed. To further style this, I'm going to add a rectangle and we are going to add it into a Z stack, which allows features to stack on top of each other. We do not have a style created for the rectangle yet, but I am going to set it to custom rectangle. So back in our styles, let's define custom rectangle and set the color to foreground and a border radius. I'm going to set the foreground color to a lighter dark blue. And again, we need to grab the hex code. Now we have our label on top of this rectangle. So let's define a new style for this label. I am going to set the color to text and the font size to 24. I'm going to define text as white. And when we save, our label updates to a bigger font size and the color changes to a nice white. Now let's style our add button. I'm going to set this color to a muted pink and give it a border width of three as well as a border radius. I'm going to set the border color to a deep rose and then define those colors up top. Now we can set that button that says add to the new add button style. And when we save, it updates. Let's change the label on our button to a bigger size and to our new text color. Let's add a height to our button as well. Okay, so now we can do a different style for the reset button. We can name this one reset button and make the background color lavender. Again, grabbing that hex code and give it the same border radius and thickness as before. And I'm going to make the border color grape. We can also give the label the same settings as the other button. We need to set our color names at the top and we can save and see that our button updates to the new style. We can also add flags to the window. So this will restrict collapsing, moving, resizing, closing, and getting rid of the title bar. As you can see, I can move it around and resize it but once I click and save, it's stuck in its place and at its size. Using this, you can proceed to build intuitive and stylized UIs 
that are completely custom to you and even go as far as to not look like Omniverse at all anymore. <laughs> 